Hi guys and welcome to Java tutorial of a bubble sort. I'm going to start by first of all let's get rid of all of these comments here. Let's get rid of that. That I have enough room and I'm going to get rid of this as well. Even this. Now the very first thing I want to do is I'm going to create some global variable. But these variable are going to be static. So let's start by entering static right there and this very variable is going to take let's say integer and I'm going to enter n for that. The next one that I'm going to declare is going to be static as well but this time around it's going to be an array so let's say it, that is going to be the data type is double and I'm going to enter numbers in there and in there I'm going to enter the following the numbers that I intend to sort so let's say we have 23 78 91 21 let's go for 12 and the last one I'm going to just make that let's say 59 there we go okay I'm now going to come straight here inside the main say the public static void main right in there I'm going to now assign my n say n that will be equals numbers this very one dot the length okay whatever values it is the whole length so let's just say number dot length there enter semicolon now the next thing is I'm going to also declare some other variable this one is going to be k and that is going to be equals let's initialize it with one and I will also declare another integer variable and this one is going to be j and j will be equals n minus 2 right and one more variable that is going to be i there we go all right now let's use the while loop to check whatever value we have inside k if k is less than n what do we want the system to do if k lowercase that should be a lowercase bring this down what we then want the system to do in that case is we would say i equals the value of zero let's use another while loop say i less than and equals to j well let's create another method right underneath here and this was meant to be less than less than j okay now right underneath here i'm going to create a static method i'm going to call that boolean and this very boolean let's just call that not in order in order and i'm going to assign some argument to it the first is going to be i and the next one is going to be j there we go there right above it i'm going to create another argument that i will use to sort the whole array but before that i'm going to have to let's enter my return return statement in there so let's ask it to return numbers and that's going to take in the array and that is if it's less than numbers how will be j what about the this the sorter so i'm going to say there's a static void so that it doesn't return anything now static void swap and that will also be let's take in these two argument as well then enter that in there all right so right in here i'm going to then create a temporary holder for me 
that is going to be double so the temporary variable that was created using double data type I'm now going to assign number into that and that's the number we're taking whatever we have inside here as an array now we then say number or numbers that should be numbers okay holding on to the array will be equals number j so let's say equals number j and number j itself is going to take on whatever we have inside the temporary holder there we go now let's go back up here so right inside this very second loop I'm going to now you say if not in order that would be I comma I plus one we want the following then we now want swap will be I comma I plus one and all we then need to then say is I plus plus right here I plus plus all right let's enter another bracket in there to close that up now what about K we'd also need to increment this very K as well okay this has been incremented we need to increment this so I just need to say K plus plus there as well okay and finally let's use a for loop to output the new array so say so for int q that will be equals the value of zero and we then say q less than numbers dot the length and q plus plus press enter and we enter curly braces and we just need to then output our statement and that is going to be system dot out dot print print line and what are you printing that is going to be q so let's enter q in there so that will be number q right inside the array and let's just enter some empty space in there there we go and that's all there is to it so out here i can just enter another empty space in here get rid of this there we go and that is my bubble sort so just have a good look at the lines of codes take it from the top here and let's bring it down before i actually test the whole system Take it down, down, there. So let's get the system to sort these numbers that I have in here. So I'm going to first of all compile and then we run. Okay, click on run. There we go, look at that. It's been sorted. Okay, look at that. All sorted from the highest to the lowest and that is how you create your own bubble sort in Java so have a good look at the lines of codes again all right bring it down and down and down and if you like you can add more values in there the choice is yours remember it's number dot height so let's say we have 100, we have 1, we have 31, and so on. Now compile and run one more time. Run. There we go. Look at that. So with that, guys, I'm going to call it the end of this beautiful tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. And please do subscribe to my channel. And you can also join to be a member of my channel. And thanks for watching. You all have a nice day now. 
and bye for now.